Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we were making our first few steps into Vault 95 to help Kate get over her addictions, and uh, we had quite a ways to go still. We fought our way a little, <laughs> a little further into the area, but we have a... Uh, yet to actually get some major progress and we found out that vault tech seriously fucked around at least through a uh, little entry into that computer there Ooh. that's not supposed to show that that's not supposed to be there psycho jet hell it's all here why would there be a stash in this vault unless oh vault tech those animals experimenting again I bet yep that's exactly what they were doing uh, and that's another annoyance that I know people are gonna be pissed at at least the lore purists which I am understandably frustrated to <laughs> uh, jet was post-war why is it in this pre-war vault that's the very good question and it's right there it's not like it was added or anything it was thrown onto the shelf as if it was supposed to be there and uh it's not at all oh that's an empty vodka bottle i should have expected if it was next to this body all right there's a couple menex and psycho that's good all right well making our way forward Ooh. ow god damn it dog meat Go. Need you to carry some stuff. Yes. Yes, you were my buddy. Okay. Um, yeah, let's give you the combat sniper rifle. Uh, that's not necessary. I could give you that, though. Um, the sledgehammer for damn sure. I don't need to carry that. Um, the pistols actually don't weigh that much, but uh, I probably should have you carry them. There we go. Good. And a uh, clean broom. Hmm. That's something. But uh, I'm not going to go for that. At least not yet. Alright. And uh, we're going to find a lot of... Whoa. A lot of weird ways to die like that over there. Um, mainly because... Well, that's how it goes. What? It looks like they were trying to mix buff out and cigarettes. I don't know to make stronger cigarettes. I don't fucking know. <laughs> At well, I mean, when you're in the throes of, you know, being that high, you might think, oh, that's a good idea. I don't know. I I wouldn't know because I've never been <laughs> ever that high okay well this person's dead and the vodka bottles right next to them okay jeez man oh man it's only gonna get worse from here all right nothing here some pre-war money that's always good it's pre-war money it's good shit I mean, I, yeah, the cloth is mainly the good part of it, and I can make it other stuff with it, but still, it's good stuff. It's pre-war money. Nothing in here, but over here, yep, yep, keeled over on the uh, toilet. Going to be seeing a lot of that. Whoa. A lot of surgical trays and other stuff. Wow. Okay, I can see you kind of bouncing over there, getting impatient. I understand. I just need to grab everything I can, because everything around here is going to be useful at some point. All right. Well, made our way through here. And I think... Did I go through here already? Yeah, I did. But I didn't pick up all the coffee cups. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I picked up everything now. 
All right. Time to move forward. Oh, I think there's actually things over here. Again, the fucking shit just phasing in and out of world. Okay. It's Jangles the Moon Monkey. That's a thing, I guess. Did I already go in this room? I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember the spots I've already been in. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be a long one, I can tell. All right, let's go through here. This has got to be new. Oh, coffee cup. Use that. Ceramic. It's always useful. Whoa, Kate. We're not phase into uh, existence like that? Really? Really? Well, let's wait for the other guy. Okay. I managed to get this guy. That's good at least. That worked. Oh, that was beautiful. I love... I love the sound of this gun. I love the sound of it. Okay, come on. Oh, geez, he is strong. He is a strong one. Jesus. Okay, I need I need to learn some uh, spray control here. There we go. Oh, jeez, come on. I'm not really hitting him that much. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, let I me... Mean, you say that. Okay. Good. Good. Good, good, good. What? Oh, yeah. That was a mod I added. I never got to test it. Okay. Um, I'll deal with that later. Wanted to look at that one because they re-updated the whole thing. And I wanted to see how uh, it looked. Wow, they actually updated the model to look less blocky. I like that. When they when they did it the first time, it looked so blocky and just out of place. But now it looks good. It looks real. All right, good, 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 good. Sorry, I had <laughs> I was doing an evaluation, but I never got a chance to actually find the gun. So, other than the fact that the whole thing is, uh, <laughs> capitalized improperly the way it is, um, other than that, I think the gun's pretty good. Gun's right. The way it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm not going to be keeping it. Uh, wow. The value on that, I'll definitely sell it. But after that, I'm going to take the mod off. <laughs> Alright, um, where's there? There's my gun I was using. Because I have an abundance of this ammo. Okay. Uh, there's nothing too special on these guys. Oh, dog me. You're kind of in the way. Hey! Big guns bobblehead. The best way to win an argument is to be the loudest. <laughs> well, some Republicans will agree. Permanently agree, uh, permanently gain, rather. <laughs> Oops. 25% critical damage with heavy weapons. Good shit. Alright, there's an ashtray over here. I'll grab that. Oh. That's a, a mine. Oh, good. It wasn't engaged. I was a little worried. Uh, we've got, ooh, got some good shit. A crumpled fedora. Uh, oh yeah, that's... That's a thing. Nah, we're not going to pick that up. Stim pack. Uh, military fatigues right underneath her. Huh. That's weird. Yep. Love that song. Uh, gonna get into this private terminal here. Is there blood sprayed over it? I just realized that now. There's a lot of red on that side of the computer. Is that blood or is that something else? I'm not sure. Uh, log one. Fuck vault tech. Okay. <laughs> That's understandable given the circumstances. They said they were helping us. The vault was supposed to be safe. A place where rehabilitation was nothing but inevitable. It may have been the end of the world for most, but for we lost souls, it was a new beginning. I was grateful for the chances to start over. We all were. We had our 
We've had our struggles the last five years, but the time we spent here turned us to family. Any one of us would have been happy to play out the rest of our lives in here. And now this. Yep. I'm assuming this is after it was introduced, because they said five years. So, yeah, it was this is obviously after it had been reintroduced into the population. They knew what they were doing. They weren't trying to help us. I never thought I would see chems again. Why would I? But now, here we are, with a whole lifetime's worth of the stuff laid out in front of us like a freaking department store window display. That's rather specific and true. <laughs> and it was there the whole time. Some cracked right away, grabbed what they could, and ran off to get high. There was fighting. I hid. Nothing I could have done to help anyone. I'm still hearing gunshots. I'm not ready to give up what I had here. It's entirely possible that's blood. <sighs> I thought I was over the stuff. I thought if I ever saw it again, it wouldn't have power over me. I was wrong. It's taking every ounce of my willpower to stay here locked in my room. Yeah. I can't take it anymore. No reason to stay sober. It's just as messed up down here as it is up there. I need something to help me cope. I don't care about the program anymore. I don't care. I don't. I don't. I really don't. I'm going to go out and be with my friends. I hope somebody is left. Uh. Shit. Well, at least proves that uh, some people, even in that situation, had the willpower to resist. Which is impressive on their part. I'll give them that. That is extremely impressive. Come on. Get out. There we go. Nice. Whew. Wow. Wow. That is a mother load of stuff. Yeah, I want to take it all. Why wouldn't I want to take it all? Well, I'm kind of good at that. Short combat. Uh, Icarus sack. What? Icarus sack. I'll take the bullet, but... Why is there an Ikor sack in here? What? That's weird. That is weird. Especially with the nuclear material, that should not be in a vault. Then again, that is that is a duffel bag. Maybe it was brought down here by the gunners. Maybe. I'm starting to think, yeah. Most likely the case. Um... Short combat shotgun. I don't need that, so I'll just leave that alone. Ooh, I do need the hot plate, though. Thank you. All right, let's uh, get moving now. Done in here. Uh, not seeing anything else. So let's get through this door. Ah, man. Yes. This, this, <laughs> this, the story of the vault here is just fucking tragic. This was fucked up. Okay. Got some good stuff around here. Pre-war money. Of course, they. Uh, we're going to grab that. We're going to retract back to old habits. and Cash was the easy way to get stuff done. Alarm clock. Okay, let's pick up the chessboard. Oh, I can tilt it around. I forgot about that. Aha! I forgot entirely about that sort of feature. You have to use the triggers to do it. Okay, let's pick up those caps real quick. There we go. Sunglasses? No. Coffee cup? Yes. Uh, was there any caps that fell? No. I don't see any. Anyway. I am... Not entirely sure if there's a way forward past this. No, there wasn't. Okay. I was double checking because right now I'm lost. <laughs> I'm very lost. Okay, was this? No, that. That's a chair. That is a chair. Maybe it was up this way. Up through this staircase. Not entirely sure. Maybe I came down from this staircase. Gods, I don't remember a damn thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I may have came down here and run into a dead end. I should... You know what I should do? 
I should check the local map and find out for certain. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like exactly what I did. So, now that I know that for a fact, I'm just going to go back up. Alright. Nothing here. Alright. Good lord. Alright. Ah, there's some doors I haven't opened. And this one I couldn't get into. Yeah, because of a master lock. Uh, did I ever go up here? I don't think I did. Oh yeah, these are the turrets I shut off. I remember that. I remember that much. Oh, got clean coffee cup. That always has more comes to things. Uh, let's grab all of this. Absolutely. Uh, surgical tray. Cigarette carton. Uh, going through this vault and hearing the stories, I just almost have nothing to say. Because there's... <laughs> it's almost too fucked to say anything. Especially when we came here to help Kate. And then see what vault Tech did. Ugh. It's almost disgusting. Alright, hey. dog meat. Eh, let's uh, have you carry some of my stuff, huh? Um, all the heavy stuff, anyway. Wow, that's actually heavier than I thought. 7.8, fuck. I don't want to be carrying that the whole time. I thought it was lighter than that. Let's have you carry that, too. Why not? Um, good gods. I'm carrying a lot. Okay, I could have sworn earlier I was whispering to dog meat, so I was like, wait a second, I should double check if that's a glitch going on or not. Here's a pistol. Nah. Oh! This is the way forward. Alright, well. I should collect what I can over here. Because further onward's gonna be crazy. Okay, you guys, you're kinda in my way. There we go. Up we go. Something's going off. Something electrical. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, this must have been the overseer's office. Yeah. Well, I mean... It does help, at least at the time, but, uh, didn't help these guys. Not in the long run. Oh, man. Just pick up the good stuff anyway. Overseer's terminal, let's, let's see. Overseer Manifest. The Overseer is an electric of <laughs> elected official individual. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> Let me just down a coffee so I'm more brain intelligent. My IQ has raised significantly. Now I should be able to complete this without fucking up. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a lie in five seconds. <laughs> An elected individual chosen to run the daily meetings and ensure the other residents adhere to the rules of the vault Tech Rehabilitation Program. This is not to be considered a position of power, but rather a position of support and servitude. Infractions are to be dealt with using positive reinforcement and encouragement. The residents of Vault 95 are family and share the same path. The position of overseer should not prevent a resident from continuing their own personal journey. An election will be held once a year on October 30th. Residents are encouraged to inform their decision based on awarded merit points as laid out in the program guidelines. That's misspelled. Okay. I almost didn't fuck that up. <laughs> that was nice. 
Uh, meeting notes. On the 23rd, Overseer Facilitator. Uh, facilitator. Ah, that was my jaw not working. Jane Myers, guided discussion, the usefulness of continued meetings. Resident Michael has expressed his desire to reduce the amount of meetings. He believes chem dependence is no longer an issue. Resident Randall reminded the group that adherence to the program was a condition of living in the vault. Resident Patricia wondered if Vault Tech even existed anymore. Resident Randall reminded the group that we are all addicts. That's true. We may pick up unhealthy habits without the program. I expressed agreement with Randall's sentiments. Issue was put to vote. Vote to continue the program was unanimous. That's good. And unlock facilities wing. I'm assuming that's the one that I couldn't open with the lock. I'm assuming. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, it's entirely possible. These surgical trays are everywhere and they're aluminum, so I might as well grab them. And the coffee cups are still useful. Um, comfy pillow. I'll take that too. Alright. Let's get moving. I can still hear that uh, electrical. <laughs> Just uh, beeping right along. Is there anything here that I missed? Now I think about it? No, I don't think I did. Um, doors over here. And, yep, it's unlocked. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, what I expected, and what turns out to be right. Alright, we got dirty water over here. That's good. That looks like it's a trap. Or maybe a pile of cans. Not entirely sure. It's a pile of cans. Okay, well. Good thing I was cautious. At least now I know. Can. Alright. Well, I'm getting closer to uh, fields of view. Not quite in there yet. Ah, fuck. Ah, it's always something, isn't it? Well, if I'm already in here, might as well. There we go. Yeah. After the shit I've been seeing in here, yeah, I kind of needed that. Alright. Alright. There's that guy I dealt with. And this is where the fun begins. Alright. Up. Oh. Yeah, I heard it. Up. Oh, hey. There, that's dealt with. I can't get to that one. Oh, these. Come on. Jeez. Come on, reload. There's that taken care of. That taken care of. Jesus. Okay. And dealt with. Well, everything but that uh, turret up there. Just really high up there. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Well, I'm down here. You have to come to me, if anything. Okay. Well, we're good right now. Take that. Alright, good stuff. Did I loot the other guy? I don't think I did. Uh, no, I hadn't. But, fix that now. Alright, they aren't coming after me right away, which is... Good for me, but it means that they aren't moving fast enough. It's annoying. All right. Probably going to be a while till they get to me anyway. So I'm going to have to probably go to them. Which means I'll need the end of the episode right now because we're a little bit over time as it stands. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and going through this really fucked up vault. And fucking over motherfuckers. Who came here for help. And <laughs> there's just really fucked up story behind this vault. <laughs> for you.